Not everyone sees what I see. In case you haven't noticed, not everyone out there is happy right now. <laughs> in fact, if you were uh, with me in the DC bubble every day, you would literally think that the White House was on fire. Um, somehow, uh, in the narrative uh, of some, that some are buying and selling up there, in just 22 days, the Trump administration has managed to threaten the very existence of our democracy as we know it. <coughs> the left and the leftist media are absolutely <coughs> apoplectic right now. Um, the hysteria and the, in some cases, phony outrage is like anything, unlike anything I've ever uh, seen before and folks that have been there even longer say the same thing. And you know what? So is the hypocrisy. Um, people wearing love Trump's hate t-shirts um, while they're pepper spraying uh, Trump supporters and smashing storefront windows and burning public and private property uh, has taught us all that uh, to the left, uh, free speech means free liberal speech. Um, and to say anything to contradict the left's orthodoxy um, means that you will be attacked. Um, not just me, but you, any of us, will be attacked um, at best. At best, you are immoral and you lack compassion. And more likely, you are a racist, uh, a sexist, a bigot, uh, that's right out of the that's right out of the playbook. So uh, I say all that uh, to say that they're doubling down, and this is going to get worse. I think before it gets better, they're hoping that in the face of really uh, hateful attacks and criticism, that that we'll lose faith and that we'll back down. But um, let me just remind you, faith is how we all got to this place in the first place. And one of the things I've really grown to uh, like about uh, President Trump is no matter how withering the criticism is, he stands his ground. Um, and so, you know, I think it's important for all of us to, to try and uh, tune out the noise from a mainstream media that uh, doesn't share the values of many of the folks here in this room. Um, none of this is going to be easy. It never is. Um, when you talk about making fundamental changes to um, government. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be different. <coughs> These are fundamental changes that I know many of us in this room believe in and have been waiting for. And, um, and I, I, for one, am so grateful to all of you to have the opportunity to be there right now at this juncture in history. I can stand up here gratefully and optimistically and say for the first time in the last eight years, the House, the Senate, and the White House all share this room's vision for America. Think about that for a second. The ball's in our court. It's time to get things done. This really is a God-given opportunity to make America great again. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.